All right, we have this boy over here. Let's combine our troops. Thank you. We want him to set his troops to rest, which he has now. So what we see are his retinues, which we'll want to take. Okay, let's group together over here. Because we will raid in, destroy his retinues, raid him down. Where he's halfway strong. Can't really go for much, but go for what we can. And then we will subjugate them. And once we have subjugated them, or should we subjugate these guys? Subjugate these guys, they don't have any allies. You're raising troops, why? Oh, you have a rebellion going. Over there. Well, you'll be unhappy with when you return, you'll find all your stuff being broken. Don't have a mission. Okay, we're supposed to duel with this guy. Duel with this guy. We have failed again. Despite our X plus, I mean, we are dwarf, right? What just happened? Something happened. You're still fighting this, and you're still losing it because you constantly have to go back in there. Yes. Let's acknowledge a worthy opponent. So our horde is 8,000 strong. More than our vassal, almost more than our vassal of is. We become grievously scarred, which is pretty sexy. Darn sexy. Our stuff still being smithed. Indeed. Was that what we got? I think that's what we got. Not even that shabby. Celestial necklace. Yeah, we built this. Okay. Fair enough. Off to raid we go. Our nephew is getting married. Still our heir. Should probably stop him from accumulating more renown. Kick him out of where he is. Again, you don't want to help your can, uh, your cons. Just ignore your clans. Just ignore them. Really, nothing good can come of them if you give them any sort of attention. Just pretend they don't exist.
also replace him as a commander. Someone even less good. We are getting sick there. But we're already better. That was quick. To create the kingdom of calm. Why are our troops so low? Really need to wait for this to go up before I do stuff. Let's pull them out. Let them reorganize. We'll see if we can't take out his troop there. Yeah. Defending against this guy in a holy war. Oh, yeah. He's going to fight our Nepalese friend. We are definitely going there. Take out his troops. Run some more interference, as it were. Are you attacking? Attacking. Nice. You guys are. It's nice enough to help. But so are we. Uh, okay, let's check this room. Yeah, can be. It's around five thousand or so. But all of them will fight against us. Only the guys will be upset by raiding them. So again, we're running interference for our vassals. Stuff. Are you fighting? You're attacking in the holy war, so you're on his side. You're attacking. Okay, we're no longer friendly towards them as I need to wait for this to go up but this is also not going very high because reasons pretty much at our limit we need to invade something if we invade do we take everything okay all occupied territory we will take and all vassal there to our oh, vassal to take these here. Three. Let's go for an invasion of this. Don't really have the time to take care of the things we take care of. Ah uh, no, suffering a oh. And preferable. 
Oh god, we're losing so many troops. Definitely want to fight them. Let's allow them to walk. Once they're locked. Trying to kill one of our kids. So not okay. Get a new wife, eh? Let's get her wrong. Build stuff. Let's go for more global supply limit. Need to feed the horde. We've defeated them here. Let's raise some vassals. Send them into siege. How's it going? Going in your favor. Won this battle too. I would just go siege stuff. I don't think you'll get an army together that is sort of threat for us anymore. What are you doing? You're still trying to do this, eh? Not going in your favor. Really isn't. Some might even say you're losing it. Wouldn't be wrong either. So having basically pre-attacked this. The sieges go quicker. They don't yield as much stuff, but they go quicker. Look at them. Ooh. Ah, oh, we become close friends with them. Let's go duel them again. Oh no, we had a war. Can't duel them. Duel for blood. Now, I don't want to risk losing and dying. I like living right now. It's a, it's okay. Decent deal that we have. Once we're done with this invasion, we're going to bring home our troops and just replenish them. Do nothing but that. We could split our clan. That would help. I wonder if we should. I don't think we get to control which lands we give away though. Oh, this stuff has been absorbed. Right. Okay. I'm fine with that. Uh. 
five and go see. I would love to siege this, but we can't afford to. Probably take care of this silly business. Hey Nepal, how's your stuff going? 82. Favor. Let's keep on. Is this it? He controls everything we're going to war for. He's kind of sort of winning still. Let's get this a little bit now. Destroy it. Now we go here. Back him there. And we've won. Oh, we've taken everything. I didn't think we'd take everything. Hey, that's great. Hey, dude. Oh no, let's transfer it to Nepal. We can use them. Can I transfer this guy? Yes. We get both these vassals. I don't need them. I don't want them. To enjoy. We've taken all this stuff here. Wow. Okay, so the temples will leave. But the city and everything else we destroy. For erasing land. And we'll create new temple vassals here. This. Ledge. Pillage. More pillaging. Need to be careful because settle as a feudal is really the last thing you want to click on. Is not a fun button to deal with. Accidentally click on it. So now you see Nepal has gotten a little bit more room to deal with. Neat. Fantastic. So we can rebuild our retinues now. And this looks a little bit nicer, doesn't it? Thank you. So Nepal just needs to win this. Ever increasing our realm. And we need to deal with this thing here. And for some reason. Got a non-aggression pact with him. Ow. I wish if you clicked on this. It would just go there. Liao. Ong is that me? No. Oh, okay, for now we have a non-aggression pact with them, but we are threatening anyway at 100%, so... Let's stand these down. Well, the best thing we can do is uh, raid. I believe we can raid them despite the non-aggression pact. Luta armies cost only 10% maintenance if you are at peace. That's cool. Toggle them to loot then. We've got more grazing land. Oh, 
Something might pass out of the realm. Alright, our clans are slowly expanding stuff. If we're pillaging all these, they'll be gone. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Let's go for plus population. Maximum population. There we go. More oxen wagons. We can have 55,000. Um, I'm not helping you in your defensive wars. You're fighting against my guys. I'm not helping you against my guys. You go, Nepal. You go. So where are we at? At 114 again. Slowly working our way up. This is a constant point of contention, it looks like. These guys are constantly trying to push in the Kumania. These are just perpetual tributaries. These guys are lucky right now. But this is all... Our... Most pressing matter. Ooh. Voice, where have you gone? Far away. Okay, first we need to get our troops somewhere where they don't die. And then we just sit them there. Split them. You trust a word. I have all this money to spend. Very little to spend it on. Get another smith, eh? I don't think we have an armor. Can we get anything out of banishment here? Sometimes there's real money in these. Not this time. Oh, there we go. That's 140 gold in our coffers. And the rest will just execute, why not? Okay, because that's why not. Come on. Why can't I mass banish them? Okay, let's split our great horde to two great hordes. And we're possessed. Ah. 